So you're trying to add audio waves to your videos? Well, by the end of this video, you'll know step-by-step step one of the easiest ways to get it done. Let's get into the content. All right, so the software we're gonna be using to do this is called Descript. So Descript is an AI video editor that really simplifies the process of adding sound waves to your video. And I'm gonna walk you through the entire process, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you wanna do once you get access to Descript is you wanna come right over here to where it says new. You wanna go to video project and then whatever video you are trying to add the sound waves on, you wanna upload that exact video in here, right? And the way that you do it is you come right here and you click on add file when you hit add file you're gonna see you can either drag or drop the file or you can just hit add file so we're just gonna go ahead and hit add file and what I'm gonna do for sake of this video is I'm gonna just add like a photo in there and it's the same as that process nothing is really different but I'm gonna add a photo in there and I'm gonna put like a, a mp3 in there as well so that way it can become a video all right so that's that's kind of the process I'm gonna go through so I'm gonna click right here I'm gonna then uh, let me go to desktop. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add this photo right here. All right. Now, typically when people do stuff like this, they are using this to create like an audiogram or, you know, they might want to add some, you know, some type of visualizer to their video just so people can see that movement while they're talking. But most times it's a podcast that people typically want to do this for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the file. I'm going to hit add new layer. All right. So now you can see, boom, we got this in here, right? Now what I'm going to do so that, you know, it kind of fits that I'm going to go to square and then I'm going to extend this out like this. All right. So boom, we got that extended. I'm going to raise this up. So it kind of makes it a little bit smaller. Now from here, I need to go ahead and I need to add the sound, right? Because in order for it to work, we got to have some sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, click right here, and then I'm going to click this plus. I'm going to add in the file. All right. So what I'm going to do right here and you might not have to do this because your video might already have audio, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit add file. And then right here, I'm going to go in here and just grab a random MP3. All right, we're going to go right there. I'm going to just go ahead and click on this. All right, so now I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to insert into the script. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask me if I want to transcribe. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit done. All right, so you can see right there, say transcribe in 50%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it go. And then once it's done, we're going to continue. All right, so as you can see, it's done. So you can see it transcribed everything that was said in that uh, MP3. All right, now once we got our audio, now we need to uh, go ahead and go right here where it says shape. And then you can see right here, it says waveform, right? So I'm gonna click on waveform and then I'm gonna drag this down here so that way you know it matches up. Bring it over here, bring this over here, and then I'm gonna drag this down below my logo. You know, and you can do this however you want to do it, but I'm just doing it for sake of this video. All right, so now that we know that our uh our waveform is there, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the style of the waveform. All right, so it's a couple different ways you could do this. You can go with lines, you could also go with a circle if that's what you want to do. So so you'll see the audio somewhat like this. So let me show you. Bellevue residents. All right. So basically it'll look like that, right? So if that's what you want. But I know typically most times you'll see people mostly want to see those lines, right? So we're just going to roll with lines for now, but you do have the option of ring or wave. So I'm going to go back to lines. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on this to play. Bellevue residents craving authentic Dominican spaghetti. All right, there you go right there, right? So it's a very simple process as you can see, but of course you can do a little bit more editing, right? So if I click back on this and then I go in here, I can adjust the size of it, make it bigger. I can also adjust the fidelity. So the fidelity, you can kind of just play around to see what everything, you know, everything looks like. We're bringing the- All right, so that made it a little bit more thicker. All right, so let's click on this play with the magnitude that can make it a lot larger. And then also if you want the mirror effect, right? So if I click on mirror, basically that'll create that effect where, you know, it looks like it's on the top and the bottom. So I'll go ahead and play it so you can see what's going on. Bellevue residents craving authentic Dominican spaghetti. All right, so if you want that, then that's all you will have to do. Now, if you're done with your content, what you wanna do from here is you wanna go up here to the file button, you then want to click on export. Now you got a couple different options on what you could do here. Now, obviously you want the visual to be on the video, so you're not going to click audio for exporting it in that format, but you probably want video. So click video 
and then you know click the quality that you want i always have mines on high you can have your resolution on 4k depending on which plan you decide to go with you can get started with this software for free they do have a free plan which i think is fairly good but if you do decide to get like a paid plan by using the first link down below in the description you will get access to export more higher quality videos right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish the process we're going to go ahead and click right here to where it say export once we do that you save it as whatever you want to save it as and then all you got to do from there is just hit okay and it's going to save to your computer and you're going to be good to go